Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jay, and today I'm going to actually do a lip balm review for you guys. And I'm going to go into ingredients, I'm going to go into some good ingredients, some bad ingredients, some ingredients that you should really try to avoid, some ingredients that I now am trying to avoid myself. Now these are the lip products that I have collected over the course of the years that I'm going to go ahead and review for you. I'm going to tell you about some of the ingredients that are in some of these, what's good, what's bad, and what's not so good, what's deceiving. So stick with me and it's going to be a little lengthy video, but it is definitely worth it. Now the first one I'm going to review for you, um, I will start off with this because this one I'm not sure what the ingredients in this is. It actually does not have the ingredient list on it. I can tell you my opinion based on how it feels, but um, I try to go to see if I can find it online. I can't find it online. The one thing I read about this particular product is that it's cruelty free, it's vegan, but sometimes it'll say it's vegan cruelty free. If you don't read the ingredients, it'll also say that it has mineral oil or something else in it that may not be so good for you. So always read the ingredients regardless of whether it says it's cruelty free or whatnot. So this is the first ingredient and this is the first um, product that I want to show you guys. It's H2O Plus Beauty and it is the Lemongrass Vetiver On The Move Rescue It All Balm, All Purpose Hydrating Balm. So you can put it on your lips, your cuticles or any dry patches that's what it's claimed so I do have like a little dry patch I mean it's not as dry anymore but right here so I'm gonna apply it right there but um to me my review on this is based on how it feels it is a five out of five for me it just feels like a lighter version of Vaseline like a very much lighter version of Vaseline and it is moisturizing them so I do like it it has a tint smell of um, lemongrass. You can still smell that in there. So if you guys by any chance happen to come across the ingredients on that, the ingredient list of it's vegan or whatnot, please do let me know, you know, comment down below. The next product that I'm going to go through is Burt's Bees. This is the pomegranate one. Now, particularly Burt's Bees, it's a it's a hundred percent natural, and looking at the ingredients, there's sunflower oil, beeswax, coconut oil, castor oil, aroma, flavor, pomegranate, seed oil, vitamin E, which is I believe the topoferol, um, rosemary leaf extract, soybean oil, canola oil, carmine, benzoyl salicylate. Cinnamon, uh, citral, eugenol, granule, hydroxyterinolo, limonio, limonin, linalol, I guess that's how you pronounce it. But um, it seems pretty much um, all natural from what I can tell. So this is actually a really great product. I give this a 5 out of 5. I love Burt's Bees. I've said it before a million times on my videos that Burt's Bees is one of my go-to brands. It's usually pretty good with keeping the ingredients in there mostly or all natural. So 5 out of 5 for that one. The next one that I want to go talk about is the EOS. And I'm looking over to the side right now because I've actually pulled up the stuff, um, the information on these for you guys. So, this you can actually find. I'm not sure what flavor this is, but they have two different types now on one um, sale. They have the ones that say 100% natural, and then they just have the regular ones. But even this, it says it has like beeswax, um, sunflower seed oil, castor oil, bisdeglycerol, polyacrylate 2 jojoba esters, um, coconut oil, aroma, 
rice brain wax, sunflower seed wax, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, um, asasia decurrence flower wax, um, strawberry fruit extracts, peach fruit extracts, um, stevia rabodina leaf stem extract, tycopherol, polyglycerol 3, soybean oil, citric acid, benzyl alcohol 1, and linalool 1. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure about some of these ingredients, what exactly they are, but it's supposed to be, according to the details, it does say it's cruelty free. It is derma tested, hypoallergenic, non tested on animals, paraben and phthalate free and gluten free. That's another thing. So just because you read paraben and phthalate free don't mean that it is free of other stuff. You want to also be petroleum free. Um put, what's it? Patrolo patrolotum is another form of petroleum as well. So you want to avoid that. It's spelled P-A-T-R-O-L-A-T-U-M. So you definitely want to avoid that as well. Mineral oil is not really that great for your skin. It's kind of like a version of petroleum as well. So the EOS, I will give this maybe like a 4 out of 5. And don't get me wrong, it, do, it does moisturize my skin for the time being. I don't feel like this is long lasting. Not for me. Now, I bought this years ago. A lot of this, again, I collected all this over the years. It's nothing that I just, you know, got. So, some things are a lot older than others. Um, some things I bought from the Dollar Tree. Some items I bought from Target. Some items I bought from Ulta, which we're about to go into. This I bought from Ulta years ago. And I've had it, I've used it many times. I liked it until a few seconds ago. And I actually went into the Ulta website and I started reading some of the ingredients. So for this, due to the ingredients, um, the ingredients is a no-go. So if I add the ingredients, add how it feels, I will give it a two or a one out of five and it's mainly because the ingredients really messed up my thought on this i have done a review on this previously just based on you know without knowing how they about the ingredients just how it felt but now that i know the ingredients i'll give it out like a one out of five i'm not happy with the ingredients it has yellow five lake in it and red five seven lake you can find the ingredient list if you want to see all the ingredients it has a bunch of good stuff in it too don't get me wrong and so but it also has some stuff that shouldn't be in there like the red uh, seven lake and the yellow five lake it's on the ulta.com website and again just type in ulta juice infused lip oil you can find it this is not tinted this is just a regular one they if you guys do want it it's nine dollars now I believe I spent a lot less than $9 for it when I bought it. I bought it on, a, I think, a 3 for 10 sale. I did 3 for 10 sale. I used the coupon, all good stuff. But um, apparently it's not good stuff, though, because it's not good ingredients. And I'm going to go into just the Yellow 5, Aluminum Lake. So, did a little research, and what I came up on regarding the Yellow 5. So, it says Yellow 5 Aluminum Lake. This is an artificial color derived from coal tar. So if Yellow 5 Lake is the same as Yellow 5 Aluminum Lake, which I believe it is, because uh, it, it bolds Yellow 5 Lake, and the aluminum in, the, in between is not bolded, so I'm assuming it's the same exact thing. This is an artificial color derived from coal tar, FDNC. Yellow Aluminum Lake is known to be reproductive toxin and hazardous to the nervous system, also known as tar design. It's suspected cause of asthma, dermatitis, and other allergic and inflammatory inflammatory responses. So yeah, I probably won't be using this much anymore. 
the next one that I'm going to go into, which when I initially got it, you know, of course, I read the cover and it said it's dolly free and all that good stuff. And I bought it at the time and I bought it from Dollar Tree. That's another thing that sold me. Um, is this right here, you guys. This is the Palmer's. The Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lip Balm. So it'll say, if you go to the Target website, if you go to the Target website, it'll say that it's clean, it's for normal skin. It'll say, ethically and sustainably stores made with plant-based ingredients. Now also, like I've told you guys before, be cautious when you read stuff. It says made with plant-based ingredients. It does not say it's all made it's all plant-based um, ingredients because it's not. Now, how fast it says dye-free? Pro Propylaparin, paraben-free, non nonophenol, ex ethoxylate-free um, formula, formaldehyde-free, formaldehyde free booty pair been free so I can't pronounce half this stuff dale free aluminum free now although they that might be the case the very first ingredients I'm sorry under the so active ingredients it has dimethicone as you guys know it's a silicone now silicone is fine in products it is considered to be safe under the FDA in skincare products. However, it is not recommended in hair products. And the reason why Diamond Gone, being a silicone, is not recommended in hair products is because it can cause buildup and it's harder to get out. And you need sulfate to really wash it out. And sulfate is not good for your hair because that dries out your hair. So it's like a buildup product. But on your skin, it's apparently fine. So. And the other ingredients, the first ingredients, because the active ingredients is only three. The other ingredient, the, the first ingredient is mineral oil. Now, mineral oil is not good for you because it is a petroleum. And I will read that all for you. It says mineral oil under chemistry, I'm sorry, under chemicalsafetyfacts.org. It clearly states that mineral oil is a clear, odorless liquid and a common ingredient in a variety of cosmetics and personal care products. Mineral oil is made from highly refined, purified, and processed petroleum. So I guess when it's processed, it's not considered to be as bad, but it's still petroleum. Which I'm gonna go into. Give me one second. And I also okay. So petroleum is also a petroleum. It says petrol petroleum products. Petroleum can be contaminated with polycrylic aroma aromatic hydrocarbons. On this basis, the European Union classifies petroleum a carcinogen and restricts it its use in cosmetics. PAHs and petroleum can also cause skin irritation and allergies. Now, again, it does say European Union. So the one thing that I also noticed that America, this United States, actually uses a lot of stuff that a lot of other countries ban from using in their foods and their um, in their everyday products because it's not healthy. And U.S. is, you know, I'm be, I'm gonna keep it real. You know, some people might not like. What I'm about to say and a lot of other people might can understand this and completely relate you know don't get me wrong you know um, I'm grateful for being in this country and being able to live in this country however the one thing about this country it is money based it is all about making money any by any means necessary even if it means for a long time it's been that way even if it means putting stuff in products that's not healthy for you and advertising it as healthy by having other good ingredients in it and kind of like 
brushing off the bad ingredients like the petroleum like I said so that is why it's very important that you do your research and understand what's good for you and what's bad for you and also read the um, ingredients regardless of what it says on the cover always read the ingredients so also uh, you want to ignore you want to avoid petroleum because it's also another form of petroleum so we cover the mineral oils as well mineral oil is another um, product it, it is another petroleum again I'm not I, I think it's safer than regular petroleum because they're refined so it's not as harmful on your skin but I still avoid mineral oil because I'm not too fond of it in my products so therefore I give this a 2 out of 5 the next ingredients um, that I'm going to go over in product is going to be Blistex. Blistex Blissful Butters SPF 15. Now I tried to look this up. So I found a website called SkinCharisma.com. And the good thing about SkinCharisma.com, it actually has like a list of the ingredients. It also has a color coding. So the CIR findings break down. So the color coding for like a light blue, A is safe as used, B is safe with qualifications, C is unsafe, oh, and B is like a purple color, C is a pink color, which is unsafe, and gray is unknown. So according to the ingredients in this, 51% is safe as used, 14 is under the safe with qualifications and 34 percent is unknown so that is a third of the product which is unknown um so i would definitely go to skincharisma.com if you want to actually go through the full list of ingredients because it's pretty lengthy um and to look it up now i will now I did see in here, I will go through a couple of the ingredients that are actually bad for you on here. Isoperyl meristates, binding agent, fragrance, skin conditioning, emollient, binding, perfuming, solvent. Bad for oily skin, fungal acne trigger, and comedogenic rating. So that is under B, so it's with qualifications. So... If you don't follow under those like skin issues, then you should be okay. But then we go into phenol which is a fragrance preservative. Okay, that is actually okay. Petrolatum. We just spoke on that. So as we know, it's bad. Oh, it says bad for oily skin. It's not good for you guys. It's a petroleum. Not good for you. I would suggest stay away from it. And yeah, so again, if you guys want to see what the all the ingredients in this or anything else that you're looking for, because it uh it has a lot of ingredient, a lot of different brands that you can look up on this website. So there's something that you want to, you know, you're curious about what the products items in that is. You can look it up on this website. It's called SkinCharisma.com. In fact, while I'm on here, I'm gonna go ahead and see if this pulls up, you guys. So this is the H2O plus. Hydrating bomb. Hydrating bomb. Sometimes you don't have to type in the entire thing. Just the main thing. And it is not on here. So come to find out this is also foreign. I think it was like Japanese or Korean. I want to say it was like Japanese made. I'm not mistaken so you know the Palmers so for yeah so for this um I personally like this because I mean it seems to be pretty decent in ingredients um minus the 34 percent so I would give this because of the ingredients and obviously 34% is showing that it's not um, the best for you. I would give this maybe like a 
2 or 3 out of 5. It does go on really smooth. It's very moisturizing. So, but if you can find an alternative, find an alternative, you guys. Not everything is worth buying. The next item that I'm going to go over, I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I can see why these products are sold at the Dollar Tree now. Um, not saying that all items sold at the Dollar Tree is bad, but check the ingredients. Especially when the products are cheaper. This elf, you guys, the um, writing kind of faded off. But this is just the elf lip balm tint. You can also get it on the website, it's $2. The first ingredient is mineral oil. So, um, it is a tinted lip balm, it has like a, like a reddish, dark reddish color. It's darker actually in person. It looks a lot lighter on camera, but um, I'll give that 2 out of 5. The next product I'm going to go over is going to be the Revlon Kiss Balm Moisturizing with SPF. So this um, is sold at a lot of stores, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart. So um, this is very popular, but... It, it is aluminum free, dolly free, paraben free. So that's the good part about it. Um, if you go into the drugs, it has petrolatum in it, which is the bad part. So therefore, I would give it a one out of five because petrolatum is also the second ingredient in here. So after it goes through through the messed up ingredients, it goes in through go to the like better ingredients the grapeseed oils the coconut oils raspberry seed oil all that good stuff but um typically again i've said it before when you read your ingredient list whatever's on the top is typically what it has more of so the first ingredients are usually what it has most of and then as it goes on is what it has less of that's typically how ingredients work if you guys by any chance decide that you want to go ahead and purchase this um, I would suggest you put it somewhere where it can contain it pretty good because this cap does not sit tight at all. This is very loose. Even after I push it in tight, it's still really loose. It won't click or nothing. It could just be mine. I could just have a defect in my product. Alright, so the next product that you're not going to find online, well actually you might. If you go to express.com. Now, I bought this from Express. It was $2.99. I don't know um, if you guys shop at Express. Express is like a clothing company. But pretty much they typically have coupons, which is like, um, what's it, $30, $30 off of 100 or whatever. And typically when people try to get to that last bit of dollars and they're like a few dollars short... This is a great item to just add to it. It's $2.99. It's actually a good item. I will definitely give this a 5 out of 5. It is moisturizing. It gets the job done. Um, and I will read the ingredients for you. It is not a long list either. It's actually a short list. The shorter the list, the better too. It has soybean oil, sunflower oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, vitamin E, aloe vera, and essential oils. So, great product. Again, a 5 out of 5, you guys. For $3, you can't beat that. So, the next item is a $4 item. And this is by far my favorite, all-time favorite product that I have yet to find. It is Super Cran by Carmex. 100% natural moisturizing lip butter, you guys. And I have looked up the ingredients on this, and I don't have it up now, but it is all natural. It is good ingredients. I'm going to see if I can look it up right now. But um, if I can, I can read off the ingredient list for you guys.
They sell it on, they have it also in a butter tube. They have it in a tube as well, but they sell it at Carmex, mycarmex.com. The ingredients is Theobroma grand, grandiflorum seed butter, shea butter beeswax, flavor, um, astrocarum marumaru seed butter, cranberry seed butter, cranberry seed oil, um, stevia rebudiana extracts, vitamin E, like I said before, tocopherol is just vitamin E, sunflower seed oil, and that's it. That's all the ingredients in here. It is all natural. It is a great product. Again, this is my go-to. This is a five out of five. I'm actually trying to look for more, you guys, so I can purchase more, so I have it on deck and all these natural ingredient stuff you want to keep it in cool areas you don't want to keep it in warm areas because they will melt they um they are natural ingredients typically when it has like other um non-natural items in it is typically why it solidifies it because it's like a binding agent and stuff like those help solidify the products so that it does last in heating like hotter conditions so if it melts it's not a bad thing I mean you don't want it to melt but the product melting just means that it's more so natural in most cases again just read your ingredients and thank you guys so much for stay. sorry um thank you so much you guys for staying with me throughout this whole video and I appreciate it if you guys have any comments any questions Please do list it below and I will see you guys next time.